Hey guys, in this tutorial we're, we're going to be creating a, a complete Joomla site using Rocket Themes Rocket Launcher. And let me try to explain that a little bit. When you go to Rocket Theme, you can purchase a, a subscription. Um, I believe it's $60 for three months or something like that. Um, and with each template, they have really, really nice templates. And with, they release a new one each month. So you can see these are the archives of all the templates they have and if you have a membership then you can download any of these all of them any of them uh, whatever you want uh, but with each one comes a standard template package which you would just install on your site um, like you would any other template but you also have a, a rocket launcher package and what that is is it's an entire Joomla installation wrapped up into a zip file and it includes the template which, for whichever uh, rocket launcher you, you, you've purchased. So I'm going to actually just go through that and just so you know that when you buy one of these templates you don't have to uh, install Joomla and then install the template and then try to tweak everything, you know, um, tweak in the module positions. You can actually get it to just look like the demo. Uh, and for this tutorial we're going to be using the fresco theme. <clears throat> All right, so if you had a membership, you would click download. Uh, I do not have my membership actually expired, but if you were, if you had a membership and you logged in, you'd see options for the standard template package and for the rocket launcher package. So you would download the rocket launcher, which I already have. Now we can see an actual demo of this template. If we click on demo and it's a really nice template really colorful um, if you use rocket launcher you install Joomla and when you're done with the installation your site would look exactly like this all the t all the, the sample data except for the images what they'll have is just blank images because these are copywritten um, I guess you're not supposed to use these on your site so it would look the, the, it's the same exact thing except you have blank images <coughs> which is easy to just just add your own so let's say you download the rocket launcher now we need to start to install Joomla and for this particular tutorial I'm going to be installing Joomla on my XAMPP installation XAMPP is a it's an Apache server that you can run on your local Windows or Mac uh, and that's available at apachefriends.org <clears throat> now I'm not going to go through the installation for XAMPP. I already have it installed, but you would just download for your particular Windows or Mac and install it. All right. So what we do want to do is create a new database. And if you have a cPanel account that you're doing this on, or some other hosting control panel, you need to find in that control panel where you can create a MySQL database and user. If it's cPanel, then usually you have the MySQL database wizard icon. You could use that. Uh, if you are using XAMPP or WAMP or MAMP or any of those local servers, then you would go to localhost slash phpmyadmin. Um, and what we want to do is create a new database. And I'm going to call this, I'm actually going to call this Fresco. All right, so now we have a database called Fresco. Now I need to find the rocket launcher. I have my my package of, of rocket theme templates here. And I have, this is what you would find. This is what you would download from rocket theme. It would be RT underscore, then the template name, and then rocket launcher. So if we open up that zip file, you can see we have, we have files for the entire Joomla CMS from administrator, um, components, modules, you want to take all of that. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to create a, f a folder in my HT docs. Actually, I already have it. It's called Joomla. And that's where I want to put my installation. Essentially, this, this whole this whole process is basically the same as if you were to just install Joomla. 
we're just using the uh, the rocket launcher files and I'm using XAMPP, XAMPP so it's in my htdocs folder in my XAMPP installation but you will if you're using a live site then obviously you'd be using FTP or or however you want to get the files onto your site <clears throat> and onto your domain all right so that looks good we have all the entire rocket launcher package is unzipped into my htdocs joomla directory now i need to visit that that location by going to localhost slash um, joomla <clears throat> which brings us to the installation the installer just like as if you were to install it on your own click next 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 now we need our database info I'm using XAMPP by default the username is root um, if you're using a, a hosting account chances are you have the hosting account username and then an underscore and then the name of your database so my password the database name was fresco the prefix you can just leave that's fine um, click next I do not enable the FTP layer whenever I've done that I, I, I run into issues so um, I'm just gonna skip that I'm gonna click next so site name I'm just gonna say Joomla site we need an email <coughs> Now I'm going to keep the username at admin, add a password in, and this is very important. If you want to use the rocket launcher and you want your site to look like the demo, you need to click install sample data. That's where it all comes from. All right, so now we can click next. Now it's asking us to remove the installation folder, um, and this is for security reasons. It's, it's not a good thing to leave it. Um, you could just go into your file structure. You can see here we have the installation folder. You could just delete that, but they make it easy, and you can just click this button. And now if we go back, you can see the installation folder is gone. So let's visit the administrator part of our site just to make sure everything's working. We can try logging in. All right, so the control panel looks good. Now, if we click View Site up here, it'll take us to the front end. And there we go. Everything's here. All the content, like I said, there's blank sample images, but those are easy to to change can check out some of the inner pages so we have the we have nice two column layouts and we have a sidebar and a main area layout there's different variations different stuff to play with if we go to the template manager in the back end and we click on the fresco default now here we should have all kinds of options for style um, fonts font sizes we'll you get features we can turn off branding copyrights um, tons of menu options layouts you can define how how wide certain modules are or how many of them there are um, so it's very very customizable not all sites with this template are gonna look the same because there's so many different tweaks and options alright so that's it we have it installed in under 10 minutes so you have a brand new Joomla site you can just go into article manager and change things and add things so uh, that's it thanks for watching 
and please subscribe to our videos. Thanks.